Colorado tonight with more breaking news as a lawmaker introduces a resolution to expel another lawmaker from Colorado's House of Representatives. The targeted one is Steve Lebsock. At least two women accuse him of sexual harassment. This is the story our Sean Boyd has been following for a few weeks now. Sean is live and Sean, this is a big development. At Dominic, if this resolution is successful, it would be only the second time in state history a lawmaker has been expelled from the state capitol. The last time in 1915, William Howland was accused of bribery and ultimately expelled for perjury. In this case, Representative Steve Lebsock is accused of sexually harassing several women. Two of them have filed formal complaints and others have made allegations in the media. Lebsock says some of the allegations are exaggerated and others are false. Speaker of the House Crisanta Duran and Governor Hickenlooper had called for Lebsock to resign, but earlier this week he said he would remain in office. He accused party leaders of backing one of his accusers simply because she is running for a seat that could flip control of the Senate. Representative Matt Gray, who sits on the committee Representative Lebsock chairs and is a fellow Democrat, is bringing the resolution. Every one of us, all 100 legislators, have a job, which is making sure we're providing a safe place to work and holding people accountable who don't create that atmosphere. I'm looking forward to that vote after my side of the story and the truth actually comes out. Now, here's how the process will work. There will be a formal investigation of the allegations by a legislative committee or outside body. If the allegations are proven, lawmakers will introduce the resolution. It takes two-thirds of lawmakers in the House chamber to expel a member. In this case, a Democratic committee will then appoint someone to fill the seat. Lebsack, among several lawmakers over the last several weeks who've been accused of sexual harassment or sexual assault, leadership from both parties and both chambers will hold a meeting later this month month to revise workplace harassment policies and procedures. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.